I love this game, and also this is just a parody. Please don't criticize me, I don't like being criticized. No millisecond counter. These robots are being assembled on an assembly line and being pooped out down a chute and onto a random patch of soil. Imagine if humans did that. Well, off you go, little Jimmy, and make a name for yourself. Imagine if this thing that doesn't happen did happen. That sure would be a sin. I'm gonna add a sin for that. Is there a reason why no one's talking? Because there's only one person there right now and talking generally isn't a solo activity. The bolt pickup distance in this game is... Gobshite. What the hell was wrong with that? There still hasn't been a single word muttered apart from the help desk lady, and I'm beginning to think- Interesting. Ooh, bloody hell. Well played, I just laughed my fucking ass off. Clank, don't give a shit. Well, he is a robot. Having to pay for these infobots, which grant you access to other levels, is a right pain in the ass. It's like saying, oh, you wasted all your money on weapons, now we're gonna make you go back and grind enemies to allow you to progress the game. Shouldn't reaching the end of the level be enough? Especially when bolts are as hard to come by as they are. There were literally multiple crates of bolts in the background as you said that. Unpopular opinion time. I really can't stand this song. I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest. I guess it just boils down to taste. But I do recognize that this song is probably one of the most iconic songs in Ratchet and Clank history, and the rest of the soundtrack is pretty good too, so minus one sin for the music. Good for you for acknowledging personal taste and removing a sin for something even though you don't personally like it. The pyrocitous stream of flames kind of looks like a line of Cheetos. <laughs> This is not what would happen to a planet after you removed a chunk from it like that. It would, you know, collapse. Clank leads Ratchet into a trap, causing a rift in their friendship. To me, Ratchet's behaviour as a result of this incident is petty, arrogant, and makes him a borderline unlikable character at times. However, when this game came out, 3D platformers weren't known for their stories, so the fact that Insomniac were trying to develop their characters and insert a twist into the plot, despite the fact that they had no obligation to do so, is rather admirable. That was a sin-off for... It was bad, but at least they tried. That was the participation award of sin reductions. Although actually, now I come to think about it, trying new things is something really good that should be encouraged, so I'm gonna take that sin back off. Back so soon? Oh, you're talking to me. Drek was always known for talking to his imaginary friends. But just earlier, you were sinning Ratchet for not talking when he was on his own. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters <laughs> using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Minor adjustments? That thing needs a complete overhaul. It achieved the opposite of what you expected. Presenting the joke. I chuckle when I think that an army waged war against enemies that only ever shoot in a straight line. What's the alternative to shooting in a straight line? Shooting your bullets so they curve in midair? This turret mission is ass! There are too many enemies swarming you while you try to destroy the transport, barely giving you a chance to shoot it. Is that not... The point? Also, I must have been about seven when I finished that level, so it really can't be that hard. Ratchet can somehow walk on the gap between metal slats. Uh, hi. This is Ratchet for, uh, Gadgetron Hoverboards. And if you, um... Yo, dudes, for the freshest boards in the galaxy, check out the new XZ88 from Gadgetron. It's so hot, it's cool. Hey guys, welcome to VeloFrexD. Today I have a brand new video for you today. It's called... Cringe Compilation 57. <laughs> That is what all YouTubers sound like to me. You... you are a YouTuber. Who do you think polluted our last world? I did. This is about one thing and one thing only. Cash! And lots of it. Because apparently destroying several populated planets wasn't evil enough. Then you need this. The Gadgetron Personal Hygienator! How do a drill and a clamp perform acts of hygienation? You really don't want to know. And thus concludes everything wrong with everything wrong with Ratchet and Clank. And I would just like to take this time to say that this Sins video is probably one of the best Sins videos I've ever seen. It was almost certainly the best off-brand Sins video I've ever seen. I really recommend you go check out the original Sins video, link in the description. This is also the second last installment of Gaming Sins Sins on Mondays. Next week will be the last one until I potentially decide to do a season 2 of this. A goodbye.